Hey guys, welcome to my channel again, and I'm excited to tell you that I'm going to change the uh, I'm going to change the factory plenum to the BBK 78 millimeter. Um, the guy that had this basically he sold it to me very cheap. I'm, he sold it to me for hundred and fifty dollars, and that is very very cheap, you know. <laughs> But I tell you, this is, this, this is, this looks brand new and brand new. They go for like $2.99 as of this video in American Muscle. I'll have a link on the, on the description if you want to get one. But like I said, I took advantage of that sale and now it's going to get installed. So to remove this one, this one should have five bolts, um, plus the ones that goes for the uh, the throttle. This plug, that plug right there, and the uh, cold air intake. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do like a like a time lapse of uh, me removing it, and uh, yeah, so stay tuned. By the way, I did get the, uh, this is the idler, the idle air control gasket. And I got the, this is the EGR for the EGR. Um, since I'm going to be removing mines, my delete plate here, I'm going to just get it changed. I'm not going to change the one that it's underneath here because it's practically brand new. So if yours is cracked, if you notice that yours is cracked, go ahead and remove it. But I'm not going to remove mine. Mine's is still good. I haven't really put any miles on this engine. It still needs a tune. So, but before I get the tune, I'm doing everything I can. So that way we can just go ahead and tune everything all together. So definitely getting that baby installed. So before messing with anything there, I'm going to go ahead and remove the battery uh, cable so that way the car is completely unplugged so alrighty so by the way I might make mistakes so <laughs> let's see let's see how that goes so I'm gonna go ahead like I said I'm gonna go ahead and time-lapse through the uh, through taking that off and uh, yeah let's see how that goes all right guys so I think I screw up with the time lapse so I'm just gonna show you guys what I have so far so again I'm new to this um I'm I already took it off okay it's completely off and I'm gonna show you guys the the difference on let me see, let me see if I can do it here yeah I'm going to show you the difference between the th the uh, the throttle inlet and the one that the BBK have. So just give me a second. I'll put this right here. All right. All right. So I don't think so. Let's see. Okay. So that's the factory one, and this one is the. The BBK, so there's a huge difference right there, big difference. So hopefully helps in anything. Um, should help in giving me more airflow through it, but like I said, there's a huge difference there. Look how big that is. So yep. Now let's get this one installed. I'm not gonna do a time lapse, so I'm just gonna. Um, I don't know, you guys can skip through the installation of this, but I'm just going to leave it there and uh, install it so you guys can see how I do it again. Don't, don't just go easy on me because again, this is my first time. Okay. Now, like I said, the gasket, the, the seal that's here looks pretty good. So I'm gonna reuse that one right there. That looks pretty, pretty good. Still brand new. You guys gotta be careful not to, uh, not to drop anything on the intake manifold because then you are pretty much screwed. Pretty much 
try my the rubber for this right here and make sure this fits because if it doesn't fit then unscrew all right guys so there you go it fits okay so now i just have to install the uh the tps sensor and the uh intake air control valve which is this one here so but it's going well so far yay not bad it's going good so let me go ahead and put the camera down over here and let's get those installed and you guys are pretty much going to see me installing it since you barely saw me taking it off so yep let's go ahead and do that okay so the first thing i'm gonna remove is the tps sensor and where's my screwdriver hmm. i lost the screwdriver it happens all right so i'm gonna go ahead and remove this one out okay make sure i'm careful Everything should be pretty easy. Remember guys that I don't have a tune yet on the car, so I'm doing everything I can before the tuner sends me the file so I can flash it and, and let's see what happens. So I'm removing the TPS sensor right now and I'm going to install it on the new unit. remove the other one. This is the old gasket which we are going to replace. Okay, let's go ahead and clean the surface first. It's not too dirty. Nope. All right. Now this one should be the new one. Looks like it has two of them, so yep, there's two of them. Again, guys, if you guys want to skip through this whole installation process, you can do so. But like I said, it's this is very easy, easy stuff here. Making sure that gasket aligns. So now we're going to position the camera right here so that I can start installing it. 
Alright guys, so I have the EGR Delete Plate installed and uh, we're going to go ahead and install that and hopefully we can finish this. Um, again, you want to be, you want to be careful and make sure that the seal here, it's, it's in good shape. Mine, it is. So let's get that going in there. And make sure that everything aligns how it should be. So there you go. So far, so good. There you go. There you go. All right. So for this one, with the other one, it was um, five screws, and now this one takes four screws only. Everything is in there tight. I know the seal; it's doing its job. And now we're gonna have to put the polar intake rubber boot, so that way we can can be finished there you go all right so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna skip through all that I know I'm sure pretty sure you guys don't want to see that but um all I need to do is start plugging everything back in and uh, I'm gonna put the rubber boot there and that's pretty much it all right guys so this is the uh, finished product it was easy to install didn't have any issues um, you know, like I said, this is my first install video, so hopefully, you know, I get better at it. Um, uh, if you haven't seen my last video on the small introduction for the car, go ahead and uh, check that video out. And, um, you know, like I said, hopefully I start getting motivated and making more videos for you guys and hopefully, you know, get it running. Um... All I need is, I need to get the mufflers for the car, which I still don't know which ones I should get. And after the mufflers, um, yeah, I can definitely tune the car. So, yep, that's what it looks like. So, looks pretty good. I like it. Change uh, the look a little bit. All right, so don't forget to... Hit that like button and subscribe, it will help a lot. So thank you. Thank you for watching.